Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Carlos. Hello, good evening, everybody. How was, how's everything? Are you on your way home or are you in your house already? ¿Qué tal? Ya están en casa o todavía van de camino? How's everything with you people? Hola, Hola. teacher. Hello. Yo estoy esperando a mi hermana. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Where in your... No he llegado a casa. Ah, ah, ok. Bueno, a ver, ojalá no se, no se, no, <ríe> no vaya a ser como el módulo pasado que pasó todas las dos horas de clase esperando a su hermana. No, <ríe> y espero que no. <ríe> Man, that was funny. All right, but what happened? How, how's everything? How was your weekend? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estuvo su semana? Ah, su fin de semana, actually. How was everything? That's cool. With That's my cool. family. Excellent, man. That was, that was nice. That's nice. How about everybody? ¿Qué tal los demás? How was everything? No, it's just, it's just... Yeah, no, no, no. Yo durmiendo. Sleeping. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. That was great. Just sleeping. <laughs> qué, qué buen fin de semana tuvo, Michelle. <laughs> yeah, man. man. Spending Excelente. The time yeah, man. Super excellent. Being asleep is the best sometimes. <laughs> okay, but what about the other ones? And you, Mr. Gamero, what did you do this past weekend? ¿Qué tal como estuvo este, este fin de semana? My teacher. Hi, Jonathan. How's everything? How are you, man? There are, there are very few people right, right now. Give me one second. I'm just loading the, the attendance list so we can continue that way. I have very few people today. Give me one second. I don't know why. It's like kind of slow this thing. Okay. How's it been here? Okay, cool. So basically, we are starting, you know, a, a new week. This is like the week number three. Uh, basically, we got, we're going to have like this week and next week. And we end up module number two. So basically, we are, you know, like starting the, 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 the second half, right, from this, from this module. That's, that's going to be excellent. So I'm expecting from you, like, you know, to, to, to participate the most, to, to, to get acquaintance, you know, like with the topics that we're going to be discussing. And, and that's going to be like part of what we are going to be doing, right? I just have 11 people now, nah, but most of you are getting connected. So let's start over, right? Today we're going to have a new unit, a new topic, new things to, to practice, you know. A lot of things to practice. So let's just start over with that. Good evening, Soila. So let's just start over. Uh, let's see, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Okay. Nice. Uh, Cindy Melanie. Cindy, okay, no. Let's move. Elvi Quintanilla. Hi, teacher, present. Ah, okay, perfect. Let's move uh, Stephanie Michel. Present. Ah, okay, nice. Give me one second. This thing is like Gustavo Adolfo. Mm, ah, you know, we're connected. Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Ah, okay, nice. Let's continue. Jorge Alberto. Mm, okay, not here yet. Jose Antonio. Present. Ah, okay. Nice. Let's move. Jose Edgar. Ah, okay. Okay, Edgar. Let's move. Juan Emanuel. Juan Emanuel. Okay, it's not here yet. Juan Gilberto. Okay, neither. 
Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Ah, ok. Nice. Julio César. No, ok. No, here yet. Karen Beatriz. Present. Ah, ok. Perfect. Second. Luis Gerardo. Present. Ah, justo a tiempo, Gerardo. Cool, man. <laughs> cool. Ok. Uh, Verónica Arely. Present. Now everything is okay, Verónica. Ahora sí, todo. ¿Todo está bien? Sí. Ah, okay. Sí, todo bien. Ok, perfect. Let's continue. Wendy Jamilet. Yo le dije ahora que hay una Presente. Ah, ok. Thank you. Let's continue. William Ernesto. Oh, William is missing. Ok. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Ok, perfect. Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Ok, nice. Uh, let's continue. Carlos José. Ah, ok, perfect. And the last one, soy la Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ah, ok, nice. All right, so we're going to start with the things that we got for tonight. As I told you, we have... Uh, we are starting unit number three. This is the third week. One more week and we finish basically with the things that we have for this module, right? So the topic for tonight is going to be completely different in comparison to the topic that we have been discussing, uh, you know, the past weeks. If you remember the past week, we have been discussing the uses of the per B, the uses of simple present, right? The uses of time expression, of frequency adverbs, commands, that in another way, like it, it is called imperatives, right? Uh, we also, we were practicing, um, what else? What else are we were practicing besides time expressions? I think those are like the most remarkable topics that we have been discussing right up to now. But now we're going to be talking about something completely different, right? So today's topic, it's going to be, give me one second, give me one second, I'm going to put the presentation for you, so we can start with this. Uh, oh yeah, this is the one. Okay. So it's gonna be this one. Just let me know if you can see the presentation, okay? Me confirman, por favor, si pueden ver la presentación. Yes, I can see that. Okay, nice, perfect. So this is the video conference number 11. So this is week three, remember? And today's topic is going to be present continuous <coughs> for future events, right? Now, it's not more present, you know, simple present. But it's related to the present, right? But this is present continuous. For what? For future events. What does it mean? That we are going to be talking about one structure to talk about a different structure, right? So how come? Let's remember that for future, we can use be going to. For future, we can use will. But in this case, we are not going to use be going to or will to make future. We are going to use present continuous, right? So this is going to be like, you know, like the huge difference uh, in comparison to the other ones. So basicamente, eh, este es un nuevo tema. Eh, para algunos que ya tienen conocimiento, por así decirlo, de que es el presente continuo, recordemos que es para mencionar una acción que está sucediendo en el instante, ¿ok? Solo que ahora lo vamos a ver con una variante un, un tanto diferente. Que ahora no lo vamos a ver para acciones que estamos mencionando en el instante. Sino más bien para acciones que van a suceder. How come? Vamos a hablar de futuro usando el presente continuo. Right? That's going to be uh, the whole topic about tonight. So let's start over with, with the most remarkable things that we are going to be discussing during this class. By reading the class agenda, of course. First, we're going to be talking about the previous topics, the things that we were discussing last week, okay? 
after that, you're gonna make the introduction to the present continuous, you know, like to talk about future. Uh, then we're gonna have a conversation in the manual, right? And after that conversation, after the practice, we are going to do some exercises there in the manual, right? And at the end, we're gonna check those exercises that are in there, right? Like in the manual. Now, just to start, I'm gonna put this in blank. What do we remember from last week's topics? Primero que nada, vamos a hablar un poco sobre los temas que estuvimos viendo la, la semana pasada. Vamos a ver qué tanto recordamos, ¿ok? Not, not checking the books, not checking the books. ¿Qué recordamos? A ver, from last week's classes. What do you remember, guys? Anything, anything. Frequency, oh. adverbs, and imperatives. Ah, ok, cool. We were talking about frequency, adverbs, and imperatives. What else? Question using how often? Nah, ok, Karen, Karen, cool. Elvi, no sé si es que usted está hablando, pero no se le escucha nada. Nada, nada, nada. Nothing at all. The command teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Uh, ah, yeah, me we're talking about commands, Soyla. No, Elvi, no se le escucha nada todavía. No es de y ahora sí, ahora sí, Elvi, creo que es problema del audio. Ah, ok, cool, we were practicing those things too. Ok, let's start topic by topic, ok. For example, so, someone, uh, someone told about frequency adverbs. ¿Cuáles eran los frequency adverbs que estuvimos practicando? Vamos a ver si recordamos así, sin, sin estar ojeando el cuaderno. Man. Usually, seldom. Seldom, all right, very good. Rarely. Rarely. Sometimes. There you go. Okay, cool. Like in the top, let's remember, we got always, Very generally, way. all right, frequently, usually, never, often, never. sometimes, never is the last one, right? Like zero for something. Yes. Recordemos, recordemos que cuando usamos never en una oración, es para poner esa oración en negativo, okay? A sentence that contains never is basically a negative sentence. Let's remember that, okay? With imperatives, all right? What do we remember from imperatives? Para que usamos un imperativo? Para dar una orden. There you go, Carlos. Thank you. Elvi, give me one example using that. I, I have paid uh, the bills. Uh, no, Elvi. Elvi, no. an imperative, una orden que ustedes. Recordemos que un imperativo ah, no lleva sangre. Ok. Um, please, please uh, clean um, your room. Ah, ok, clean your room. Please clean your room. Mm -hmm. You are being very polite, right? You see, please. Ok, very good. Okay. Now, if you remember, we also, we were practicing uh, the use of have to, has to, and need to, right? When do we use have to, Veronica? I have to do exercise. Aha. Uh -huh. And if you say, I have to do exercise, what are you expressing? Are you expressing a necessity or are you expressing, expressing an obligation? Mm, cierto. Es necesidad. I, I, uh, I have to write a note. Is that a necessity? Mm, digamos que es en el trabajo. <laughs> uh -huh. No, but in that case, in that case, Veronica, you are expressing obligation. obligation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Necessity is like when you just need to. Right? In that case, it's, it, yeah. it's, you're expressing a necessity, right? When we are using need to. Ah, like if you say, I need to do exercise, right? So in that case, it's like kind of necessity for you, right? Okay, mm -hmm. let's remember, I right? right? have to is mostly for obligation. Need to is mostly for necessity, right? For something, okay. right? There you go, cool. So those are like the most remarkable things that we were practicing last week, right? If you remember. Okay, people, now let's start over with this information. 
uh, related to the present continuous because it's a little bit extended. So I don't want to skip any detail with you. So let's just start over. Check this out. Present continuous for future events. So this is the topic, right? Present continuous for future events. Let's read. Uh, it's, it's really necessary, right? It says, listen, English speakers often use present continuous tense in parentheses. You got subject, B, and bear in ing. What does it mean? Para esta estructura, and I'm going to say this in Spanish for you to understand better. Listen, para esta estructura, siempre, siempre, siempre se va a necesitar las formas presentes del verbo to be. Que si recuerdan, si recuerdan, exactly, right? Si recuerdan, son tres. Were you mentioning something, Soyla? No, perdón, que se le escucha cortado. Oh my God, are we starting with that again? Give me one second. Give me one second. How about now, Soyla? Y ahora? Hoy sí. Okay. All right, just let me know when, when, when something like that happens, okay? Okay, uh, as I told you. So basically, basically, in that case, in that case, it's like when we use the verb be, it's like when we use am, is, and are, okay? Recordemos que básicamente cuando les digo que vamos a usar el verbo to be, uh, todavía continúa con los, con, los, con los detallitos. All right. Give me one second. I need to do something. All right. Okay, we need to fix some things in here. Okay, how about now? Is it okay or it is the same? Todavía se escucha medio robotizada mi voz. Ahorita ya se escucha. <coughs> ¿Se escucha bien? Sí. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, me lo sé saber, por favor, si, si hemos, estamos teniendo interferencias. I don't know why, I mean, this is weird not to happen. Ok, so we got subject plus B, as I told you. Recordemos que cuando usamos B, como les mencionaba anteriormente, es cuando usamos las tres formas del verbo to be en presente simple. ¿Cuáles son esas? Am, is, and are. ¿Ok? Those three. Plus the verb in ing. ¿Qué significa verb plus ing? Que básicamente al verbo principal le tenemos que colocar ing para hacerlo continuo. ¿Ok? And it says, to talk about future arrangements. So, básicamente lo hacemos para hablar sobre acciones, ¿ok? O actividades ya programadas, ¿ok? ¿Qué vamos a tener a futuro? That's what it says. It says, a future arrangement is a plan that you have decided and organized with another person. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Ah, que básicamente son aquellas actividades que nosotros ya tenemos planeado hacer con otra persona o grupos de personas, right? So in that case, that's a future arrangement, right? Básicamente todas aquellas actividades planeadas que eh, por algún motivo vamos a tener que hacer y de cierto modo a futuro. All right, let's see some examples with that. We have one example in here. Look at that. I am spending Christmas with my wife. Básicamente, vemos ahí, tenemos una oración en primera persona. I am spending, right? ¿Cuál es la forma base de este verbo? All right, the base form from this verb is like this. Spend, okay? Spend. ¿Qué hemos hecho acá? Básicamente agregar ing, okay? ING. ING, exactly, right? Spending, right? I am spending Christmas with my wife, right? So, literally, literally, in Spanish, it says, estaré pasando, okay, eh, Navidad con mi esposa. 
So if you say, básicamente acá ya estamos hablando de una acción a futuro. Ok. It's not an action that is coming, that is happening at the moment. No es una acción que esté pasando en el instante. Ok. Es una acción que va a estar pasando, pero a futuro. Ok. Cool. ¿Y cómo saber si esta oración es futuro? Ah, básicamente por el complemento que le vamos a colocar. All right. Give me one second. Me están escuchando, people. Because I see your No se escucha muy bien. Ok, all right. Por rato se le corta. No, ok, give, give me one second. Give me one second. All right, just give me one second. Permítanme un instante, por favor. Okay, I'm back. Uh, can you listen to me, guys? Or are we having the same problems? Okay, now, right now I'm going to change from my, my internet. Probably that's going to help me out. Give me one second. I'm going to stop sharing this presentation for a moment. And I'm going to try to, to change. Deme un minuto, por favor. Just give me one second. Uh, I'm just doing some things in here and I don't know what's going on with this thing. All right, let's see now. Uh, can you listen to me now? Better. Sí, se escucha. Ahora sí se escucha. 
Sí. Ah, okay. All right. Perfect. So we're going to continue with the things that we were uh, doing. So please let me know if you have uh, problems and you don't listen to me that much. Just let me know, okay? Me lo hacen saber, por favor, si, si no me escuchan. Okay, just give me one second. All right, me confirman si pueden ver la pantalla, por favor. Yeah. No, okay, all right. Okay, so give me one second. Eh? I'm, I'm doing some things in here. I need I need to to restart these things. Give me one second. All right. Uh, okay, are we are we listening? Yeah. Okay, perfect. If you're listening to me, please let me know if you have any inconvenience, okay? Por favor, me hacen, me, me hacen saber si tenemos algún inconveniente con respecto al audio, okay? At the moment of, you know, being reading the information. All right, let's continue with these things. Okay, check this out. Present continuous. Let's talk a little bit about the structure. Vamos a hablar un poco sobre la estructura de este. Uh, okay, this uh, uh, tense. Check this out. This is the structure that we generally use uh, when making sentences using present continuous to express future. Okay, the first thing that we have in there is going to be the subject. What's that? We got the subject in there, right? Tenemos el sujeto, ¿ok? Recordemos que el subject puede ser cualquiera, ¿ok? Cualquier palabra, right, that indicates a person, place, or thing. All right. And then we have the verb be, ¿ok? Let's remember, in that case, the verb be can be, like, uh, am, okay, is, or are, depending on the subject. Dependiendo del sujeto, así va a ser la forma del verbo to be que vamos a colocar ahí. Then we have the main verb, all right? The main verb, let's remember, that's the one that indicates the action, okay? That's the one that indicates the action, all right? But what happened to that verb? In that case, that verb has to go with ing, okay? Has to go with ing, plus the complement. In that case, in the complement, in the complement has to go a time expression. Pero básicamente, en el complemento tiene que ir una time expression. En este caso, la time expression es básicamente la que va a hacer que la oración esté en futuro. Okay, that's the one that is going to indicate that the sentence or the whole action is going to be in the future, okay? All right, let's continue with this. Check this out. Example. Julio, Alberto, help me on reading this one. I am meeting one tomorrow. Okay, so in that case, what is this 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 one? Look, I am meeting one tomorrow. ¿Cuál es básicamente 
la palabra o la expresión que nos está dando a conocer que esta, esta oración o esta acción se va a desarrollar a futuro. Ah, it's going to be the, the time expression, que en este caso es tomorrow. Esta es la que nos indica, ok, que la acción está en futuro, right? The action is going to be happen in the future, right? So basically, in that case, it's like, ah, me estaré reuniendo con Juan mañana. So in that case, this is the way how we can interpret this type of examples, right? So in that case, the time expression is the one that indicates the action, all right, at the moment, not at the moment, eh, the next day or in the near future. So in that case, si solo decimos I am meeting Juan, probablemente la acción se esté desarrollando en el instante, okay? In the moment of speaking, por ejemplo, si yo digo, I am teaching English, okay, right now. Listen up. I am teaching English. So, en este caso, básicamente, la acción se está desarrollando en el instante, okay, que estoy hablando. No remember that. Pero, si colocamos la time expression que indique futuro, so, en ese caso, ya la acción cambia. Ya no es una acción, okay, que se está desarrollando en el instante, sino es una acción básicamente a futuro, right? That's the one that I want you to, you know, like understand in this case, right? The action is happening, but in the future, right? Ahora bien, pero si yo digo, I am teaching English tomorrow night. So ya la acción es muy diferente. Ya la acción no es en el instante en el que estoy hablando, sino que ya se va a desarrollar mañana por la noche. Entonces, ¿cuál es la que juega un papel bien importante en este caso? Ah, es la time expression, porque es la que indica cuándo se va a desarrollar la acción. ¿Ok? So, this is the way how this structure works. Entonces, esta es la forma en cómo esta estructura funciona. ¿Ok? Like that. Okay, uh, like right up to now, with this information, are we understanding this way, this structure? Vamos comprendiendo eh, eh, cómo funciona esta estructura. Hasta acá, eh, ¿o tenemos alguna pregunta? Sí. Ajá, Gilberto. Mm -hmm. Según la estructura de arriba, uh -huh. el, el allán es el verbo to be. Eh, solo am es el verbo to be. Solo am. El es I, correcto. el sujeto. Es, es el subject, es correcto. Dependiendo es del... Exacto. Yes. Dependiendo del subject, así va a ser la forma del verbo to be que vamos a colocar ahí. Puede ser you, you are. Exactamente. Si es you, uh, ah, entonces ya no sería am, ya sería are. Uh -huh. Are, you. O, o también they are. Exactamente. O si ponemos we are, ok, o menciona, are. Exactly. O si mencionamos dos personas. Por ejemplo, si yo digo a uh, Julio and uh, Gerardo, estoy hablando de dos personas. Entonces, en ese caso, en ese caso ahí ya sería are. Ok. Ahora bien, si ya usamos. Uh, y, yes. All right. Si ya usamos he o she, ya en este caso ya sería is. Right? Yeah, en este caso, pues ya sería is. Ya, ya estaríamos, uh, right, con la otra forma del verbo to be. Right? Y el, el main es el my, my verbo. Hola. El, el main. Ah, ok. No, ya el, el main verb, ya el verbo principal, sí, ya ese es el que da la acción de la cual estamos hablando. Entonces, el verbo principal ya tiene que ir con ING. ¿Right? Será ahorita. ¿Hola? Sí, ser un robot ahorita. Jesus Christ. Give me one second, people. For real. I'm, I'm just having horrible problems with this, with this, with this thing. Give me one second. I need, I need, For real, I need to change these things because I cannot be this way. Give me one second. 
I'm gonna make a change right now. Hello. How about, now, how about now, people? Can you listen to me now? Yes. Ahora sí. Sí, se oye. Ah, ok. Mami, es, 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 es que está súper raro porque he estado haciendo una prueba de, de, de velocidad de internet y pues está normal. I mean, no, no sé por qué no me funciona la... I mean, I cannot see eh, your movement. No, no sería eh, problema del, del, del Zoom. Mire, eso es lo que estaba pensando, que probablemente sea algún, alguna falla de Zoom, porque está raro, porque sí estoy probando el internet, así, eh, o sea, en otras páginas, y sí está bastante rápido. Dime un segundo. I'm just doing es some por, things in here. Es por rato, escucha, quizá. Me hace rato que soy bien. Ajá. Sí, es que se sigue. Está, está la, la pantalla está frisada en everything. Y no sé, no. Pero no, esto no. se escucha bien. Ajá, ajá. Like right now I can see, I can see you and everything. It's, it's, it's weird. Es súper raro. Porque aparentemente, sí, tengo una velocidad de 16 megabytes, según esta cosa. Y no sé por qué, I mean, it's just... That's weird. That's like, like super, super weird. But, are you listening to me right now? Pero me están escuchando perfectamente ahorita. Sí, ahorita sí. Sí, ah. teacher. Ok, perfect, perfect. Esperemos que ya no tengamos esas dificultades. Ya, pues, es súper raro. Extraño sería que no me cargaran las páginas, pero sí me cargan todas las demás páginas, excepto Zoom. Es raro. Ok, but later on, I will, I will see what's, what's going on with this. Um, let's start over with this. So, uh, como les, les, les mencionaba, listen, en este caso, el subject... Dependiendo del subject, así va a ser la forma del verbo to be que vamos a utilizar. Recordemos que las formas del verbo to be por lo general suelen ser tres para el presente simple, que serían am, que solo se utiliza con I, are, que se utiliza con you, we, they, o cuando mencionamos dos nombres de persona, ok, and is, que is es básicamente cuando ya usamos, right, y o she o cuando mencionamos a una persona en específico, right? So this is the way how they work. And the main verb y el verbo principal, right? Has to go in ing. Tiene que ir con ing. Okay? That's the main function that this main verb is, is like doing at the moment, right? And then the complement. En el complemento es donde generalmente suele ir incluida la time expression. Que esa time expression es la que nos da la pauta de que la acción no se está desarrollando en el momento, sino más bien a futuro. ¿Cómo así? Listen, el ejemplo que les estaba dando al principio. Si yo les coloco acá, listen, si yo les digo acá, I am teaching English. Right? Esta acción, si yo digo I am teaching English, me da la pauta de que esa acción la estoy haciendo en este instante. Right? In this moment of speaking. Ah, estoy enseñando inglés. So, but what happened when I add a time expression? Pero, ¿qué sucede cuando yo agrego una time expression? Por ejemplo, tomorrow night. Ah, ya la acción no la estoy desarrollando en el momento de, de, de hablar sino más bien esta acción la estaré desarrollando mañana por la noche. So you see, this is, this is basically, right, a 
future arrangement, right? Entonces ya esta es una actividad planeada, por así decirla, right? O planificada, right? That is going to be happening in the future, right? So entonces acá ya estamos hablando sobre es un presente continuo, pero que estamos expresando futuro, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque la acción no se hará hoy, se hará mañana por la noche. Solo time impression de futuro. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Ahí ya no se puede usar yesterday, right? Porque sería como un poco incoherente decir, ah, estaré jugando fútbol ayer. No, right? It doesn't make sense. No, no tendría sentido. Sí, ahí las time expressions solo van a expresar futuro. Like tonight, tomorrow, next week, next weekend, next month, next year, right? Time expressions like that. Cool. So let's continue. Vamos a poner esta acá. Sí, so, sí, solo una... Ajá. Tell me. El main ver se refiere al... Verbo principal. Verbo principal. Yes, el que indica la... Que sería, que sería me... Exactly, exactly. En este caso sí, sí. sería meeting. Yeah. Sería una reunión. Exactly. All right. So that's the way. Okay, let's continue. Okay, thank you, teacher. Nice. All right. Next example. Check this out. She is going to USA next week. Right? So in that case, the action is being done until next week. Entonces, esta acción se estará llevando a cabo hasta la próxima semana. You see? So the time expression is the one that is playing that role, right? She is going to USA next week. Next example. Uh, let's see who can help me out with this. Xiomara, uh, help me out reading this, this example. They are leaving at 5 p.m. Ah, okay, very good. So in that case, they are leaving at 5 p.m. Right? Ah. Ellos estarán yendo a las 5 p.m. So you see, this is the way how it works, right? So en este caso, podemos expresar futuro mencionando una hora específica cuando esa hora específica no ha pasado, ¿ok? So let's remember, ¿ok? Cuando la hora no ha pasado, right? Another example that we can even mention. Check this out. We are finished. Finish, recordemos, es el verbo principal y así está en forma base, ¿ok? Finish. Pero con ING ya sería finishing, right? We are finishing classes at 10 p.m. So, in that case, I am expressing, ¿ok? A future action, right? Like that. I, we are finishing classes at 10 p.m. Ah, estaremos finalizando clases a las 10 p.m. So you see, this is a future action, right? Entonces ya acá estaremos hablando de un, una acción a futuro corto, okay? Why? Porque esta acción va a terminarse básicamente en menos de dos horas, por así decirlo, right? O se va a dar en menos de dos horas. So you see, this is the way how we can use this, this type of structure. Okay, cool. Any question up to now? Hasta acá tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a esta estructura, algo que no esté todo, del todo claro. Everything clear, teacher, thank you. Now, okay, cool. Teacher, en, en, la, en la plataforma, en esto me, este, tuve dudas cuando decía Juan and I. Ah. Entonces, este, uh -huh. Sí, es que vaya, cuando dice Juan en I, es Juan y yo. ¿Cuántas personas hay ahí en este caso? Dos. Dos personas. De, de, de nosotros. Correcto. Entonces, si, es dos, si son dos personas, es un plural. Entonces, ¿cuál es la forma del verbo to be que usamos para los plurales? Ar. Es correcto. Ajá, y ahí me confundí yo. Yo, como decía Juan en I, Puse ama, sea, ahí me confundí. Exactly, exactly. So, en este caso, recordemos, cuando ya mencionamos dos personas, como en el caso 
de ese ejemplo, ya sería are, ya no sería am. Ok. All right, cool. Let's continue then. Give me one second. Let's do something. Now, time expressions used. So take a look at the time expressions that we generally use uh, to make this type of examples. Check this out. These are the most common time expressions that we generally use at the moment of, you know, creating the examples. Look at this. We got the time expressions like tomorrow, next week, next weekend, next year, tonight, in three hours, in five days, in one week. Okay, so we got those ones, right? Esas son como las más comunes que por lo general podemos utilizar al momento de crear ejemplos, right? So, solo colocamos el verbo en ing, la forma correcta del verbo to be, el subject de quien vamos a hablar, and basically we got a complete sentence, right? Using this structure. Cool. With this, with these things, I don't know if you have any questions. No sé si hasta acá con estas expresiones tenemos uh, alguna pregunta, alguna duda. Oh, everything is being done good up to now. Dice, la única pregunta es que siempre que usemos, ¿verdad? Cuando, porque queremos orar en, en futuro, por ley, va, vamos a agregar la ING, ¿verdad? Si estamos usando esta estructura, sí. ¿Ok? Si estamos usando esta estructura, sí. Pero para el futuro, para mencionar futuro, o sea, futuro, por así decirlo, a, hay otras estructuras. Hay dos estructuras que podemos utilizar para formar el futuro. ¿Ok? Sí, básicamente esta, esta estructura que estamos viendo acá se forma a futuro nada más usando las time expressions. Porque en los ejemplos, como le mencionaba, si yo no uso la, las time expressions en los ejemplos, básicamente estoy hablando en una acción en el instante. Ya que recordemos que el presente continuo es para hablar sobre acciones en el momento en que estamos hablando. Right? Tal es el caso del ejemplo que ponía. I am teaching you English. Will. All right? Les estoy enseñando inglés. Esa acción es en el instante. Si sí, yo no coloco una time expression. Pero sí, ya si estamos hablando de futuro, futuro puro, por así decirlo, tenemos dos estructuras. Tenemos will y tenemos otra. Right? Dime, Iván, señor. Y tenemos will y tenemos otra que sería... Así, let's look. Be going to. Exactly. Be going to. All right. Entonces, yo puedo decir, I will go to work tomorrow. All right. Sin necesidad de escribir tomorrow. Si yo digo, I will go to work. Iré a trabajar. So, ya esta acción está en futuro. Ok. El tomorrow simplemente es para ser más específica la oración de cuándo lo haré. Pero ya la oración en sí está en futuro. O lo mismo, usando el going to. I am going to go to work. Ah, you see, iré a trabajar. I am going to go to work. Right? Y acá, tomorrow. Simplemente sería para especificar que lo haré mañana. ¿Ok? Simplemente para hacer más específica la oración. Entonces, estas dos estructuras son para mencionar futuro. ¿Ok? Eh, así, por así decirlo, futuro directo. En cambio, la estructura que estamos viendo ahorita es algo continuo expresando futuro. ¿Ok? Mientras acá decimos, iré a trabajar. La escena, iré a trabajar usando la estructura que ahorita estamos viendo sería I am going listen up I am going to work right tomorrow you see so in that case going 
it's the one that is doing the action. So you see, in that case, tenemos dos verbos principales acá, right? In that case, básicamente es, estaré yendo al trabajo mañana. So you see, in that case, it's different. O si yo digo, estaré trabajando mañana, I am working tomorrow. You see? This is different, right? This is different. ¿Por qué? Porque si yo no menciono tomorrow, la acción se está desarrollando en el momento que estoy hablando. So this is the difference, right? Between them. Entonces, esta es la diferencia entre ellos. Cool. Now, dicho esto, entonces, vamos a ver si hemos comprendido esta parte. All right? Let's see if you have understood pretty well these things. Now, listen. Mencionenme una actividad que ustedes van a desarrollar mañana que no sea trabajar, porque esa ya la, ya la puse ya ahí, right? Algo que no sea trabajar. Una actividad que ustedes van a estar desarrollando mañana. Coloquen el verbo en ING y háganla en, en primera persona. Let's do it that way. Right? And here you have the time expressions that you can use. Acá ustedes tienen las time expressions que pueden utilizar, right, without any problem. Finish, teacher. Okay. Finish, finish. Perfect. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, Carlos, I'm going to start with you. Let's start. Okay, teacher, lo que yo coloqué fue, I'm going to take a shower tomorrow at 6 o'clock. All right. Yeah. Re okay, repeat it again. Uh, I... I'm going to take a okay, shower. Okay, 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 okay. In there. In that case, tomorrow, I'm, I'm, I'm is missing, Carlos. Remember, I am. No, no. Uh, I put I going. I going. Is that contracted? Uh, I'm going to take a shower tomorrow at 6 a.m. o'clock. All right, so in that case, ah, pero Carlos, esa acción entonces ahí estamos hablando eh, con la otra estructura que usamos para futuro. Tiene que ser la estructura que estamos utilizando. En este caso, Carlos, sería más o menos like, I am, I am mm. taking a shower tomorrow. Así le tendría que quedarme. Permítanme. Este lo, lo voy a escribir aquí. All right. I am taking a shower tomorrow. Y luego lo demás que le había escrito. Porque si colocamos el going, Carlos, ah, entonces sí ya tenemos una estructura en futuro puro, por así decirlo. Right? La estructura que por lo general usamos para futuro. No, but in this case has to be present continuous to express future. Remember. Teacher. Ajá, Alvi. Uh, digo, I am driving tomorrow. Ah, I mean, that's, 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 that's correct. Because in that okay. case, you are not using going to. Okay, Thanks. cool. Lady. Thank you. Entonces sería, teacher, I am taking a shower tomorrow. Exactly. All right, exactly. Thank you, teacher. All right. So, inclusive le puede poner la hora, así como lo, lo tenía antes, solo que sin el, el going. Porque si coloca going, entonces ya toda la estructura cambia. All right. It changes completely. Okay, right. teacher, thank you. All right. All right, nice. Okay, who else has finished? Alguien más que ha terminado? Teacher. Yeah, yo, William. Yo venía, yo venía a manejar. No, no sé si está bien, pero yo puse I am drinking tomorrow. I am drinking? Juice. Ah, okay, that means it's still acceptable. I am drinking juice tomorrow. Yeah, man, that, yeah. That, that's okay. Okay. Perfect, perfect, man. All right. Who else? Richard. Okay, Soila, and then Gerardo. I am learning to drive tomorrow. Ah, okay, very good. I am learning to drive tomorrow. Very good. Gerardo? I am playing soccer in the afternoon. Mm, okay, very good. I am playing soccer in the afternoon. Very good. Thank you, Gerardo. Somebody else? Your teacher. Okay, Jonathan. I am going to play soccer. I am mm, going. 
Ok, give me one second, José. Okay. Deme un minuto, deme un minuto, José. Ok, Jonathan, en este caso eliminemos el going. Porque primeramente la que he hecho así, tomorrow I go, I go to play soccer. Mm. En este caso eliminemos el going to, porque si colocamos going to, ya la estructura nos cambia. O sea que tiene que ser I am to play soccer. Mm, coloquemos play con ing. I am play. playing soccer tomorrow. Mm. Así le tendría que quedar. Pretty similar to, to the one that Gerardo dijo. Yeah, así tendría que quedar, Jonathan. Sin el going to. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok, perfect. All right, José. Your turn, mister. Sorry about the interruption. I, I going to drink coffee. Um, vaya, Voy a tomar. No, pero in this case, mire. La oración está correcta, solo que el going tenemos que eliminárselo. El going to tenemos que eliminárselo y tenemos que colocar básicamente el verbo, que en este caso sería drink, colocarlo en ing. All right, José, José. like example, look, en ese caso el suyo sería I am drinking coffee. Ok. Ok. Very good. A I menos... am drinking coffee. Ok, cool. So this, that, that would be the way, Jose. Ok. Sin el going to. I am drinking coffee. coffee. Yes. All right. El going. Gracias, solo... Richard. Ok, Jose. El going solo se puede utilizar cuando sea una acción que estemos hablando usando ese como verbo principal. Un ejemplo de ello, I am going to San Salvador tomorrow, for example. Ok, ya going, no estamos actuando como una acción a futuro, sino como un verbo principal que indica movimiento, de ir. Ok, pero si tenemos going y después otro verbo, entonces no, y ahí ya no nos cuadra, porque el going ya, ya sería auxiliar, no sería verbo principal. All right, cool. Julio, Alberto. Let's read. I go to the, I go to meeting tomorrow at 5 a.m. Uh, I go to meeting. I am go to meeting. El going tiene, eh, tiene que ser going ahí, Julio. Ah, yeah, ahí sí es going. Ahí sí es going, porque usted básicamente está diciendo que está yendo a reuniones. All right? So, en ese caso... Como es un, ahí estamos actuando con un verbo de movimiento, de ir, right? Entonces ahí ah. sí, sí puede ir. Ok, sería entonces I am going to meeting. Exactly, I am going to meeting. Ok. Exactly. Cool, Julio. Bueno, gracias. All right. Somebody else that has finished? ¿Alguien más que haya terminado? Yo, teacher. Teacher. Ok, all right. First Michelle and then Cindy. Eh, I am signing Signing the check tomorrow. Signing, signing, Michelle. Signing, okay. Okay, cool. Signing. And signing the checks tomorrow. Very good. Cindy, your turn. Uh, no sé si está bien, teacher. Bueno, ya la vamos a ver. I am, I am going to take video tomorrow. Mm, eliminemos el going to. Y coloquemos okay. take. Y coloquemos take con ING. Eh, con ING. Exactly. A take, eh, en ese caso, mm -hmm. eliminemos la E. Ok. Y coloquemos mm -hmm. ING. Ok. All right. Ahora, Sería leamos. video tomorrow. Ok. Ahora léamelo. I am take. Video tomorrow. Ah, uh, in that case, taking. Taking, okay. Yes. Okay. I am taking video 
or videos tomorrow. Video. Mm -hmm. tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. In a case, that's 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 the acceptable one. Thank you, Cindy. All right. Somebody else? I have finished. Your teacher. Okay, Vanya. I am cleaning my house in the night. Now, okay, very good. Thank you. Somebody else? Yo. Okay, Wendy. I am sending the report at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, perfect. There you go. Vamos a poner una señal, dice, beware with the dog, cuidado con el perro. Se escucha el pitbull al fondo. Ok, Teacher. cool. Ajá. Tengo, tengo otra, pero tengo mi duda ¿va? para ver si es correcta. Ok, léala. No problema. I am, I am going to the beach the next week. Ok, cool. In that case, it's acceptable. En ese caso, sí es aceptable, porque después del going to, no hay ningún otro verbo. Por lo tanto, el going to es el verbo principal, que indica okay. estoy yendo a la playa. All right. Y ahí la time expression es la que hace la acción a futuro, right? Indica ya puede okay. decir, like, like, la próxima semana, right, fin de semana, whatever you want to put in there, right? Okay, thank you. Cool. All right, somebody else? Richard, tengo una. All right, Gilberto, read it. Quisiera saber si está bien. Okay, read it. I am check the printer next week. Okay, listen, listen. Está bien. Eh, ¿Usted tiene el verbo así? Eh. The check. Yes. Ok, a ese verbo, Gilberto, hay que agregarle ING. Recuerde. ING, para que digan checking. Exactly. Right. Recordemos. Y lo demás está bien. Lo demás está bien. Ok, eso es lo único que hay que okay, agregar. Pregunta. Ajá. Vamos por. Le agrego cómo queda. Nah, give, me one, uh, give me one second. I didn't listen that much. No le escuché mucho. Vuelvan a repetir, por favor. Yo la, yo la tenía de hmm. ah, give, me, give me one second, Gilberto. I think I'm having issues with the internet again. All right, just, just, just give me one second. I hate when this happens. To tell. Uh -huh. Just give me one second. I'm doing something. I'm just like like testing these things because I don't know what's going on with the internet. For real, it's weird. All right, do you listen to me? Me escuchan bien ahora? No, it's just like 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 my voice is like kind of robotic again. Uh, debería, debería intentar usar lo que a veces los datos funcionan mejor que el wifi yes that's what I'm going to be using Ay, right now exactly that's one ahorita voy a cambiar a eso porque está raro que me lo extraño que, que encuentro es que I mean this is changing All right, what happened? And now? Are we continuing with the same issues? Jesus, man. 
I don't really need to record this thing. That's that's pretty weird. But anyways, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change the internet. Just give me one second. Probably that's going to help me up a lot in this thing. All right, how about now? Do you listen to me? Ahora sí, me escuchan? Yes. No, okay. Yes, yes teacher. Perfecto. No sé qué. No sé, la verdad ya me estoy medio frustrando con esto porque aparentemente me levanté todas las páginas excepto Zoom. Eso es raro. That's super weird. But anyways, I want to be checking that. Necesito revisar qué es que probablemente pueda hacer uh, that thing, right? Ok, Gilberto, ¿podría leerme la oración que me estaba leyendo? Que no escuché al final, please. Ok, teacher, yo la, yo la había hecho así. Ajá. Allá en check the printer next week. Uh -huh. En este caso, el mistake, el único, el único pequeño error que teníamos ahí Es que como tenemos el verbo to be, eh, cuando dice usted I am, no podemos llevar el verbo principal en forma base. Tiene que ir con ing. En este caso sería checking. Right? De lo contrario. Y si en vez de allá fuera, si en vez de allá fuera, digamos, eh, you are, podría ir solo el check. No, tampoco. tampoco. Siempre tendría que llevar el checking. You are checking. ING. Exactly, with ING. Cualquier, cualquier parte que fuera. Es que como siempre. Allá en lugar de allá. Es, es que como llevamos el verbo to be, por eso es que eh, siempre usted va a estar obligado a colocar el verbo en ING. ¿Ok? Por eso es que usted siempre tiene que colocarlo. Mire, ya sea que usted diga, I am, you are, he is. She is, we are, they are. Usted siempre, siempre, siempre. Ok, va a colocar el verbo como checking. Right? All the time. Siempre lo va a hacer. Por lo mismo que le menciono. Okay. Porque lleva las formas del verbo to be. En este caso, si no llevas el verbo to be, entonces si bien lo puede hacer. ¿Cómo así? Ah. I check. You see? Y luego el complemento. Ahora bien, mm. si, no lle si no lleva el verbo to be, entonces sí puede colocar el verbo en forma base. Right? Yeah. Teacher. Ajá, Carlos. Ajá, y es correcto también. Yes. Solo que, solo okay. que, give me, give me one second, Carlos. Solo que ya este es presente simple. Ok, ya ah. es una acción que, que puede hacer el, cualquier día. Ya, yeah, por lo El tanto, otro es presente continuo, a futuro. Continuo. Continuo. Exacto. Ah, okay. Exacto. Cool. All right, Carlos. Teacher, no sé si está bien. Tengo este ejemplo. Por ejemplo, que dice: I coming to work at 8 a.m. Mm, no, sería: I'm coming, I am. I am coming from work. From. Porque ah, si okay. dice que está llegando a casa, eh, eh, sería from, right? Porque el to es no, cuando no. va, cuando va a trabajar, ¿ok? Ese sería no, el to. Mi, mi ejemplo era este, I'm coming to work at 8 a.m. A.m. o p.m.? 8, a las 8 de la mañana. Ah, no, entonces sí. Entonces sí está bien. Porque dice coming to work. Básicamente es como cuando llega el trabajo, right? So in that case, sí, correcto. Okay. All right. So in that case, it's okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's correct. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Just give me one second. Verónica. Uh -huh. Ajá. Permítame. 
Así, así lo coloqué. I coming to work. Give me a second. Está bien, ¿verdad? Give me a second. Like this. I coming. Like this, Carlos. Sí, like this. Uh, necesita el verbo to be, Carlos. Entonces sería I am coming. Es correcto. Okay. Recuerde que no se puede colocar el verbo ing si no tiene el verbo to be antes. Gracias, teacher. Ya, yeah. lo puede hacer de esta manera o lo puede hacer contractado. Así. Am. Am, ajá, I'm coming. Ajá. That's correct. Recordemos que podemos contractar, podemos contractar las formas del verbo to be. Vaya, si tenemos I am, I am is equally to am. Ok. You are. You can sure, say. Sure. You are. Exactly. Sí. He is. All right, let's remember. He is. She is. All right, in that case, she is. Ok. It is. It. You see? This is the way how we work, right? Uh, another one. We are. Thank you. We're. Okay. They are. They are. Okay. Podemos poner estas contracciones también y no hay ningún problema, right? This is the way how we can put them into the context, right? Into sentences. All right. Copienlas eh, y me, lo, me hacen saber cuando hayan terminado para pasar a asistencia, please. And then we're going to continue with the reading. Uh, if I'm not wrong. Teacher. Uh, yes. Yo tengo una consulta. Okay. Por ejemplo, el verbo write, uh -huh. ¿por qué cambia la E? Ok. Se en le este quita caso, la E a write. Exactly. En este caso, cuando usamos el ING, algunos verbos sufren un cambio. Por ejemplo, listen, todo verbo que termine en E, que termine en E, y le vamos a colocar ING, tenemos que eliminar la E para colocar el ING. ¿Ok? Remember that. ¿Y por qué sufren ese cambio? Porque es una... suena como I. Es que, no? es, que, es que hasta para la pronunciación habría problema. Entonces, esto ya es, una, ya es una regla establecida que si decimos, all right, si decimos acá y colocamos ING, hasta la forma de la escritura, no sé, parecería raro, right? Dejarlo así. Es, sería como writing. O sea, la pronunciación ya sería hasta un tanto más rara, right? So, entonces, por eso si tomó a bien, right, poner la estructura de, esta, de este verbo, eliminando la e y colocando ing y a decir writing, right, continuously. Recuerden, eso sucede con todos los verbos que terminan en e, ¿ok? Esos son los, los que sufren cambio. Ya de ahí verbos como, por ejemplo, study, estos no sufren ningún cambio. Esto solo se les agrega ING y ya, ya, ya tenemos. ¿Ok? Ya tenemos la mano. Okay. ¿Eh? Pero en este caso, los verbos que terminan en E sufren ese cambio porque está para la pronunciación sería un tanto extraña. ¿Right? Sería un tanto complicado de, de pronunciarlo. ¿Right? Por eso es que básicamente se sufren ese cambio. Ok. Uh, Thank you. Ok, cool. I guess you have already finished of... Uh, Writing this down, so I'm going to pass the attendance list. Yes. Just, just to continue, okay? Cool. Give me one second. I'm going to stop sharing uh, just to continue with this. Let me see. Carlos Mauricio. Present. Okay, nice. Cindy Melanie. Present, teacher. Okay, perfect. L.B. Quintanilla. Hi, teacher. Okay, Stephanie Michelle. Present. Okay, nice. Smooth, Gustavo Adolfo. No, no. 
Nader uh, Ivani Achamilet. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jorge Alberto. Okay, Jorge. Jose Antonio. Present. Okay, perfect. Jose Elgar. Mm. Not right, Jose. No, second one. Let's move. Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, nice. Juan Gilberto. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Okay. Julio Cesar. It's the one that is not here. Karen Beatriz. Karen. Man, Karen was here. What's up? Well, she had problems. Okay. Uh, Luis Gerardo. Present. Okay. Veronica Arely. Present. Okay. Wendy Jamilet. Present. All right. William Ernesto. Present, okay. teacher. Okay, Shomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Carlos Jose. Present teacher. Okay, and the last one, Soy La Guadalupe. Present. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Let's continue with these things. Uh, there were a couple of people that didn't participate in the reading of the samples. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it's missing hmm. Juan Campos, because I didn't listen any any sentence from him, and uh, Veronica. You didn't give me you didn't give me the example, right, Veronica? I escribí. I am playing my guitar next Saturday. I am playing my guitar next Saturday. Okay, very good. That one is correct. Thank you, Veronica. And uh, Juan? Juan Campos, are you there? Hello. One. Hello. No, nah, yeah, I mean, now I can listen to you. Can you hello, read? Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> yeah, Juan, I, I listen to you. Can you read your example? Juan? Okay. So, Juan, I'm waiting for you. Is it me or my, or, or, or I didn't listen, Juan? No, no, sir. Sure. All right. Hello, 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 Juan. Ahora sí, Juan. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I listen to you. Jesus Christ. All right, Juan, can you repeat it again, please? I'm going uh -huh. to visit Guatemala mm -hmm. in five years. Mm -hmm. Eliminemos el going to, Juan, y dejémoslo, I am visiting Guatemala in five years. Did you listen to me? Like this, Juan. I am visiting Guatemala in five years. Okay, if that's your example, we can put it this way, right? 
But in this case, eliminate uh, the going to, right? Going to, it's it's like make us to have another structure. So, cuando usamos el going to, básicamente ahí, nos, eh, estamos hablando con otra estructura. Entonces, para evitar eso, like, put it this way, okay? Pongámoslo de esa manera. Ajá, Gilberto. So, sorry, teacher, sorry. Ah, okay. Okay, I thought you were reading something. All right, anyways, let's continue with this. Let's continue. Teacher. Yeah. Eh, una consulta. O sea que el going es, eh, digamos, como para presente. No se puede usar para futuro. Así. Es que, listen, listen. Como les mencionaba, el going se puede usar para futuro, ok, solo que si lo usamos acá, así como lo hemos estado usando en algunas ocasiones, algunos ejemplos que me han hecho, listen, entonces ya no estaríamos hablando de la estructura que estamos hablando ahorita, que es el presente continuo, miren, si yo digo acá, I am going to eat pizza, por ejemplo, Solo en esta oración, solo en esta oración, acá ya no necesito colocar una time expression para saber que esta oración está en futuro. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque llevo going to. Aparte de ese going to, llevo otro verbo extra, que en este caso es it. Entonces, esta estructura ya no es presente continuo para expresar futuro sino más bien este, esta estructura ya es futuro. Así, así, futuro. ¿Ok? Entonces, y como no estamos practicando el futuro, entonces por eso es que les he dicho, ¿ok? Que básicamente eliminemos de la oración el going to, este, lo eliminemos, y el verbo que tenemos que indica la acción, que en este caso es it, coloquemos el ing. Y digamos, I am eating pizza. ¿Ok? Sí. Entonces, acá le podemos poner el complemento. Si decimos tonight, por ejemplo, esta noche. Yo sí, entonces acá sí ya es presente continuo expresando futuro. ¿Right? Present continuous is present future. This, but this, using this way, right? Using this way. Pero usando el going to, ya no, ya estamos hablando de futuro. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo usamos el going to? Cuando el going to sea verbo principal. Por ejemplo, she is going to the beach on Holy Week. Ah, ella estará yendo a la playa en Semana Santa. So you see, entonces en este caso, sí, ya podemos usar el going to. ¿Por qué? Porque no llevamos ningún otro verbo adicional después de going to. Si ven, no llevo otro verbo. Ahí es como se puede usar, José. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Cool. You can copy these examples if you want. All right, and just let me know if you have any questions. Cool. Now, let's continue. Bien, entonces vamos a continuar. I'm going to erase this part and let's continue. Check this out. So I am playing, I mean, I am playing chess next weekend, right? Ah, estaré jugando ajedrez la pro, el próximo fin de semana. You see, that's a common example. Or this other one, uh, and they want let me see who can help me reading this one. 
Julio Alberto, let's read. Mario is having lunch at 20 p.m. No, it's 12, 12 p.m. 12, 12 p.m. <laughs> yes, that's the way, right? Very good. Mario is having lunch at 12 p.m., right? Very good. So in that Teacher, case, you can put consulta. it this way. Yes. ¿Qué significa chess? Chess significa ajedrez. Okay. Yes. No, ah, okay. Nah, I mean, it's Thank ajedrez. You. Okay. You're welcome. Let's continue. All right. Wendy, let me read in this one. We are sending report in one week. In one week. In one week. Okay, thank you, Wendy. So in that case, like you get, you, you can see in that case that in one week, básicamente es la time expression. Esa es la expresión de tiempo, right? En una semana. You see, we are expressing future in that case, right? So we are sending reports in one week. Ah, estaremos enviando los reportes en una semana. You see, you got that one, right? In that case, you see, like, like, to express future, right? Let's express future. Very good. I don't know if you're copying this information. No sé si están copiando los ejemplos o puedo pasar. Listo, teacher, ya. Yeah. Permítame, le voy a tomar captura, teacher. Okay, cool. Tome la captura entonces. And then let's continue. Thank you, teacher. All right, nice. Let's move. Negative sentences. Así como tenemos oraciones positivas, pues podemos tener negative sentences, right? We can have negative sentences. How come? How to create negative sentences in this type of examples? All right, for negative sentences, this is the structure. Look, we have the subject plus B. Okay, recordemos en B puede ser a mis o are, and then not. Okay, after not, we have the main verb in ing plus the complement. Examples. Look at this. Let me see who can help me out with this. Gerardo, help me reading. I am not speaking English tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Gerardo. I am not speaking English tomorrow. Ah, no estaré hablando inglés mañana. You see, in that case, we are talking about a negative action expressing future, right? Soyla, are you there? She is not. Writing a letter next weekend. Now, okay, very good. She's not writing a letter next weekend. Perfect. Let's see. Let's continue. Jonathan. You are no speed, speed, spending, standing time while you shoulder, shoulder, toy. Tonight. Tonight. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jonathan. You're not spending time with your children tonight. So you see, all of them, all of them are in negative. All right. And those are actions that we are not doing. Let's remember it. Those are actions that are not being done. Okay. At the moment of speaking. So cool. So what can be those actions that you people are not doing tomorrow or next week or next weekend? For example, listen up. I am not eating pupusas, okay? Tonight, to call it like that. I am not eating pupusas tonight. So what, are, what might be those negative sentences for you? ¿Qué serían esas oraciones que ustedes no estarán haciendo? Ya sea esta noche, 
o esta semana? Can somebody tell me? Or can somebody help me out with one example, please? Tengo una teacher. Okay. I, uh, I am not watching TV in the night, at night. Okay, very good. I am not watching TV at night. Perfect. That's one. Cool. Somebody else? Teacher, este, right. I am not I am not taking shower tonight. <laughs> okay, cool. Ah, I thought it was tomorrow, man. Cool. Tonight. All right. Thank you, Carlos. Somebody else? I am not working tomorrow. I am not working tomorrow. Now, okay, very good. I am not working <laughs> tomorrow. Cool, Sayla. <laughs> Next, somebody else that has finished? Teacher, yo. Okay, Michelle. I am not eating pizza tomorrow. Okay, very no. good. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a cool example. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más que ya haya terminado el ejemplo? I am not going to beach uh, on the weekend. Ah, okay. I'm not going to the beach on the weekend. Very good. Thank you, Wendy. Have another. Okay, cool. I am not eating fish tomorrow. No, okay, I am not eating fish tomorrow. Very good, Carlos. Somebody else? Alguien más? I am not sleeping a horse tonight. <laughs> okay, cool. I am not sleeping eight hours tonight. Teacher. Yes. A ver si está buena. Okay. I know I am not walking the uh, the dog in the morning. Okay. Yeah, I mean in the morning. Yeah, it no, has sorry, to be like the next day. No, it's okay. It's okay. Cool. Somebody else? Me, I am not drinking coffee tomorrow. Uh, okay, very good. I am not drinking coffee tomorrow. Very good. I have, I have not drive. Uh, I am not. Jonathan. Hi. Jonathan? Hey, teacher. I didn't listen that much to the example. Can you read it again? I mean, again? Okay. Uh, what I was trying to say, Jonathan, is that I want you to repeat the example that you have. Me gustaría que repitiera el ejemplo porque no, no, no lo escucha muy bien. Es que le había puesto I have it. Ah, no, but, 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 but in this case, remember que siempre tendría que llevar I am y después not. Mañana, el verbo mañana voy a ir a, a que tu mamá se venga a bañar. Ok. Ok. All right, Jonathan, let's, let's try to fix it there, right, okay? Cool. Uh, somebody else. Teacher, you All right, Julio. Let's read it. Julio. Yes, man. I am not drive much tomorrow. I am not. I am not drive much. Drive, drive de conducir. 
Uh -huh, correcto. Ah, no, in the, case, in the case it would be driving. Driving. Ahí sí, sí llevaría el, el ING. Es correcto. I am not driving. I am not driving much tomorrow. Exactly. Sí. Y ahí, okay. ahí estaría bien, ok. Cool. Bueno, ya la hice, teacher, pero no sé si está bien. Ok, really, man. Léala. I am, I am not having no dry. I am not having no dry. Uh, what do you mean with the last the last word? Oh. La última palabra no la entiendo mucho. No la entiendo. Dry. Dry. De conducir. Dormir. No, man, in that case it's sleeping. Yes. Sure. Okay. Uh, give me one second, Elvin. Sure. Uh -huh. Se puede decir, digamos, I am not sleeping tonight. Exactly. That would be that would be the example. Uh -huh. Look, Jonathan, así como oh. dijo Elvin, más o menos podría ser también. Look, I am not sleeping. Okay, teacher. Tonight. Like this, right? Like okay. I am not sleeping. Okay. Okay. All right, man. Uh, somebody Teacher. else? Uh -huh. Tengo una, a ver si está bien. Okay, read it. I am not playing the piano tomorrow. Okay, I am not, I'm not playing the piano tomorrow. That's acceptable. That's good. Teacher. Okay, teacher. Yes, Thank William. you. Another example. Okay. Um, I am not visiting the United States the next year. Okay. That's another clear example. Thank you, William. Okay. Somebody else? Gerardo? I am not drinking beer in the world. Okay. I am not <laughs> doing. Okay. I am not drinking beer in the world. Nice. All right. Another one. Carlos Gamero? I am not visiting the bar next weekend. The bar? Okay. <laughs> That's another one. Okay, man. Thank the, you. The next weekend. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, don't visit it right now. Time is dangerous. Está <laughs> peligroso. Okay, cool. So that's the way, right? Cool. Uh, let, let's, let's continue, people. Let's continue. Now, after reading these type of examples and doing yours, now let's move because we have this short conversation to practice. Listen, I had this one over here, right? I had this short conversation for you in here, pero no la vamos a poner acá sino que la voy a poner en el manual. Así que voy a dejar de compartir pantalla por un momento. And I'm going to be focusing mostly in the manual. Give me one second. We're going to go to the manual and go to the page 29. That's going to be the, the main page. 29. This is the one. All right. It says the conversation. Listen to your teacher read the conversation. Then practice with a partner. Okay. Let's start with this. This is a conversation between Peter and Henry. Okay. Vamos a hacer lo mismo que hacemos siempre, right? What is what is it about? Voy a leer la conversación dos veces. Ustedes pueden, pueden seguirme en la conversación con el micrófono apagado. Luego, al finalizar la lectura, pueden comentar cualquier palabra que a ustedes resu les resulte desconocido, ¿ok? O si tienen algún problema en cuanto a pronunciación. Let's start over. It says, hello, Henry. Hello, Henry. I have a question. I have a question. Who is representing the company? In the yearly conference, who is 
representing the company in the yearly conference. It's a story. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, listen. But Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, Peter says, I see. I see. But if Julie is attending, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering? Who is delivering the representations? Their representations. Okay. Uh, for the CEO next week. For the CEO next week. And it says, guess what? Guess what? I am. I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Listen up. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. It says, Peter, sounds great. Sounds great. So, I am informing the committee about it. I am informing the committee about it. Okay, now that you have listened to the conversation over here, do you have any question with the vocabulary? ¿Tenemos alguna duda en cuanto al vocabulario? Sí, se me podría ayudar con, de nuevo con la, donde dice, who, who is what? En la segunda de Henry. The second one of Henry. Mm -hmm. Guess, guess what? Guess what? Yeah, guess, guess what? Cool. Soy la. Yes. Yearly teacher. Yearly, annual. Ah, okay. Algo que se representa cada año. Teacher, ¿qué significa guest? Guest. In that case, ¿Sí? guest, guest is like, it has several meanings. Uno es como huésped o invitado. Huésped o invitado. Okay. ¿Dónde está esa? Let me see. En Henry. En la última de Henry. Ah, no, 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 no. Give me one second. Entonces ahí se diferente. Guess. Ese es guess. ¿Qué significa guess? Guess significa adivinar. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. Guess what? Es como una expresión de pregunta. Guess what? Adivina qué. Oh, y informing es como informe, algo así. Informing is basically like informar. Oh, I am informing the committee about it. Ah, estoy informando el comité sobre ello. Informar, right? Mm -hmm. Para conocer. That's what it means. Cool. Something else? Algo más? All right, we're okay with that. Okay, cool. If you don't have any question with the pronunciation of those things and everything, let's start over with this then. Okay? Bien, lo que vamos a hacer entonces es que vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica utilizando la conversación, right? Because I do really want you to practice, okay? As much as you can. Now, just give me one second. I'm going to make some groups. And let's start over with that. Teacher. Yes. Conferencia. Conference. Conference. Yeah. Conference. Conference. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. Let's 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 stop sharing.
and let's create the groups. How many how many people are you? You're 19. Edgar, todavía va de camino a casa? Or you go home? Or ya está en casa? Edgar? All right. I think, I think, I am in, it's, it's yet on the way. Todavía de camino. Okay. All right. Now, let's go to work. In this case, with, uh, let me see, 18, 17, 18, 17. Okay, let's put it this way. Give me one second, please. All right, let's put it this way. All right, let's go to work. You're gonna have a couple of minutes just to practice that conversation and then we're gonna come back in here, okay? Let's go. Let's go to Fisher, practice. Lo comparto por WhatsApp, please, porque, porque no le, no le di El... El ¿Qué es, Gilberto? Eh, lo que vamos a practicar lo puede enviar por WhatsApp, please. Ah, ok. O si gusta, lo comparto aquí ahorita y le toma captura. Ok. Va, permítame. Ahí está, mire. Eso es. Gracias, teacher. Ah, ok. Perfect. Muy bien. Ahora sí debemos aceptar y vamos a trabajar, ok? Let's go to practice. Hey there, wait, Mary, I is good. You live in a 20. The conference this year to so. Cindy, she is there. I guess I can Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector the new account, the new accountant. So great. So, so I am <clears throat> forming the committee about it. Okay. Hello, Henry. I had a question representing the company in the yearly conference. Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is who Julie is attending the conference this year, too. So I see, but informing. The committee about it. The committee. Committee. Yes. Committee. Nice. Una, una consulta, teacher. Yeah, tell me. Eh, la, donde dice, es en Henry, donde dice Héctor de Net a, a Coat. Ah, ah, ahí es. Héctor the New Accountant. A, a cow. Accountant. Accountant. Básicamente la O, la O se pronuncia como A. Accountant. Accountant. Es correcto. Ok. 
All right. So the new accountant. Sounds great. So I'm informing the committee about it. Okay. Bye. Julie is attending conference this year too, so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the representation for the CEO next week? Yes, glad I am. I am presenting with actor the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Committee. <laughs> committee. Yes. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the year? The presentations for the CEO next week. Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee committee about it. About it. Okay. Empiezo de nuevo. Hello, Henry. I'm presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. The committee. Committee. No. Hello, uh, hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the jewelry conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see, but is Julie is attending? Which no? Who is? Delivering the, rep the presentation for the CEO next week. Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. So great. So I am informed. Is attending the conference this year to so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Yes, what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the, co the committee about it. The committee. Commit. Committee. Committee about it. Does yeah. it have yeah because, yeah, because yeah, so, because commit is, is just otra cosa. Uh -huh. sí. I am informing the com com committee. Committee with E. Committee. Uh -huh. I am uh, informing the committee about it. Perfect. There you go. I think we have practiced enough, right? You have been practicing. So let's go to the main section and let's practice for a while because I want to listen to you, you know, like talking to the whole conversation. And then we're gonna finish, okay, with that. Let's go. Okay. See you there. Nah, nah, man, they are coming right now. All right, Carlos and Gilberto, let's do it right now. Let's start over. Okay. Just, just give me one second. I'm going to show the, the, the manual so you can have the as an example. Okay. Sí. okay. Empezamos. Per perfect. Yeah, I mean, let's start. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is back. Julie is attending the conference this year to so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO this week? Yes, what? I am 
I am presenting with Hector the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Carlos and Gilberto. You did it excellent. All right now, okay. let's Check. let's continue. Carlos Gamero, who are you practicing with? William. Okay, cool. Let's practice. Let's go. Bueno, empiezo yo. Ahí voy. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Mar Mary is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So? I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the, rep the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Carlos and William. You did that excellent. Now, Gerardo, who are you practicing with? Jose Pineda. All right, with Jose. Where is Jose? I am in. He's there. All right, let's start. Okay. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see, but I, if Julie is attending, who is delivering the present? The presentation for the self need with next week. Next week. Okay. Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector the new account. So, so great. So great. I am informing the committee about it now okay about it all right so thank you jose and gerardo all right you did it perfectly now soila who are you practicing with uh, with jonathan and cindy. with jonathan and cindy cindy and cindy yeah. okay all right all right let's do something soila you're gonna be practicing okay. with jonathan and then jonathan with cindy okay Okay. Okay. All right. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Mary is, but Juliet is at 20, the conference this year to so. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the representation for the CEO next week? Wait, what? I am I am present with Hector, the next accountant. All right, the new accountant, repeat. The new accountant. Okay. Sounds great. So I am informing the com committee about it. All right, the committee about it, all right? Committee about it. Okay, cool. Now, Jonathan, I want you to practice with Cindy. Hello, Henry. I have a question. What is represented to the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see it. I put this Julie uh, is at 20. What is in delivery? The presentation for set for the sale. All right. Next C okay. For the CEO, repeat. For the seat. CEO. CEO. Okay. Next. Next week. Okay, cool. Guess what? I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. 
Some write some in an uh, information that informing informing they committed about, about it. it. Okay, cool. About All right, thank you, Jonathan. Just to finish the cycle, Cindy. Now let's do it with Soila. Okay. I want to listen to you both. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is rep re representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO the next week. What's what? I am. I am representing with Hector, the new accountant. So it's great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. And Soila okay. and at the end, Jonathan, for doing it. a good job. Now, Xiomara, who are you practicing with? With Wendy. With, with whom? Wendy. Ah, with Wendy. Where is Wendy? Wendy, are you there? Wendy. Hello. Uh, okay, I will give you one minute then. I will give you one minute because I think Wendy is not there. Vamos a ver, a lo mejor uh, se ha levantado. Eh, la vamos a dejar para un, un, de las últimas, ¿ok, Simara? Tal vez sí. se logra conectar, si no va a practicar conmigo, ¿ok? Ivania, ¿cómo estás? Creo que con Verónica. With Verónica, ¿ok? Let's do it. Ok. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the, the presentation for the CEO next week? Where's what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sound great. So I am informing the committee about it. The committee about it. All right. Cool. Thank you, Veronica and Ivania. Now, uh, Wendy, are you there? Okay, okay perfect. So, Mara, now it's time to practice. Okay. Hello, Harvey. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so? I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new account, accountant. All right. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, thank you, Xiomara. And uh, Wendy, you did it excellent. Now, Julio Alberto, were you practicing with? Con Juan Campos. Yes, Juan Campos, Juan Campos. Juan Campos, are you there? Juan? Here. Okay. Hello, hello. All right. Now, hey. yeah, I mean, we can listen. Okay, let's just start. Hello, Henry. I have a question. I think he has problems with the internet, like I was. Okay, cool. Uh, yes, yes, the final, the final.
in the jury conference. Okay, all right, in the jury conference. Julio, continue. Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. Continue one. I see, but I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting which sector? Can you come a counter? Perfect. Sounds great. So I am informing the community about it. Okay, thank you, Juan. And uh, Julio, you did it excellent. Now, let's see, Michelle, who were you practicing with? Con Elpi. Okay, cool. Let's start over. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Yuli is attending the conference this year to show. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Now, okay, perfect. There you go. I think that you were the last pair because let me see. Jose Pineda has already participated. Julian, too. Carlos, Ivania, Veronica. Who's missing, actually? I mean, Cindy, Wendy. All right. Creo que a todos participamos, right? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody has already done it. All right, listen, listen up, people. Uh, for this topic, we're going to try to, to complete to complete that, right? Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to complete that by tomorrow because with this we need to finish a series of examples this one look by tomorrow we're going to continue with this para mañana a modo de feedback vamos a desarrollar estas actividades acá del manual listen listen up what are we going to do si tienen tiempo para los que ya tienen impreso el manual listen if you have time during the day si tenemos tiempo durante el día podemos comenzar con esto Estas son actividades, estas son oraciones básicamente, las cuales están, listen, están desordenadas y usted lo único que va a hacer es ordenarlas. Ok, that's the way. Así como está la primera acá, miren. Dice, is Jose tomorrow receiving the new workers? So, la forma adecuada es, Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. So, ahí ya la tenemos ordenada. Entonces, Lo único que tenemos que hacer es ordenarlas, ¿ok? If you have the print, printed the manual, you can do it y mañana simplemente las revisamos, ¿ok? De igual manera, para los que no la puedan hacer, mañana al principio de la clase la vamos, vamos a hacer, ¿ok? Es, es, es este ejercicio. Es just... ¿Qué, pagi ¿Qué página es, Michelle? ¿Ok? Uh, ¿Qué it's... página es? Ok, right now I'm giving you the page. It's page 30, página 30. Okay. Page 30. Exercise number four. That's going to be the one. Exercise number four. Right? From the page 30. That's going to be the one, okay? Simplemente lo único que hay que hacer es ordenarla, okay? All right, people. So, uh, basically, we're going to conclude the class with this thing. Let me pass the attendance list, and then we can go, okay? Give me one second. Ah, uh, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Good okay. Night. Good night, Mr. Cindy Melanie. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Elvi Quintanilla. Good night, teacher. All right, good night, Miss. Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, excellent. Gustavo, so here. Ivania Jamilet. Present, teacher. Okay, perfect. Jorge Alberto. He didn't show up today. Ah, uh, Jose Antonio. Present. Okay, cool. Let me see, Jose Edgar. It's already there. I think he's on the way home. Uh, Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Juan Gilberto. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Julio Alberto. Present, teacher. All right, Julio, 
uh, today we're going to have the 10 minutes feedback, okay? Ahora. Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, Julio Cesar is not here. Karen Beatriz. I think Karen had problems with the internet. That's why she disconnected. Luis Gerardo. Okay, I think Gerardo too. I got problems with the internet. Uh, Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, perfect. Let me see. Give me one second. Wendy Yamilet. Present. Okay, excellent. Uh, William Ernesto. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Mr. Xiomara <laughs> Elizabeth. Present. Okay, excellent. Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Very nice. Carlos Jose. Good night, teacher. Okay, good night, mister. And the last one, Soyle Guadalupe. Present teacher, good night. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful night. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Uh, bye. Nos vemos mañana. Good night. Bye good bye. Night, teacher. Good night, mister. Good night. Bye bye, everybody. They have any issues. No, right. just give me one second. I'm just having some issues in here. Okay, Julio. So we're going to have the 10 minutes feedback. Let's remember this time it's just, you know, to clarify questions related to this topic and the previous topic. Básicamente, uh, tenemos esos 10 minutos, ya sabemos, para aclarar cualquier duda que teníamos de esta clase y las anteriores, ¿ok? Así okay. que, if you have questions, just let me know. Ok. La primera teacher. Era... Ajá. Uh, con respeto. So, uh, how much is how many? Mm -hmm. Okay. Me entendió que how many is in plural, ¿verdad? Exactly. Vaya, how much and how many? Those structures are pretty different. Look, how, how much in this case is mostly an ML. How much? Okay. And at the same okay. time in here. Tenemos how many. How many. Vaya, how much es más que todo cuando usamos uncountable nouns, nombres incontables. Y acá, how many, usamos countable nouns, nombres que podemos contar. Entonces, acá este, esta estructura es más que todo para formar preguntas. Uh -huh. okay? Vaya, preguntas con how much podemos hacer sobre los precios de cosas. Ok, recordemos que cuando usamos eh, el precio de algo, por lo general es algo incontable, ok. Cuando mencionamos algo de dinero, el dinero es incontable, ok. La uh -huh. palabra dinero, all right. Y otras cosas que no podemos contar, como el azúcar, sugar. La sal, uh, uh, cuestiones and... así. Exactly. Entonces, si yo digo, how much sugar do you need? Ah, ¿cuánta azúcar necesitas? I need a lot of sugar. Ah, necesito mucha azúcar. ¿Sí ve? Entonces acá, mm -hmm. la palabra sugar se utiliza con how much. ¿Por qué? Porque mm -hmm. how much es algo incontable. Entonces, how much es para mencionar sobre cuánto, cuánto. ¿Ok? Ahora bien, how many. How many, por el contrario, es para todos aquellos nombres que nosotros podemos contar, ¿ok? Sí. Y siempre, después de how many, el nombre que coloquemos tiene que ir <coughs> plural, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, si tenemos how many, ¿ok? How many, recordemos, significa cuántos, ¿ok? So, por, ese, ¿Sí? por ese motivo, la siguiente palabra tiene que ir plural. Y yo digo... How many students practice English? ¿Cuántos estudiantes practican inglés? Look at this. 
Y, y, así, y así independientemente sea de uno o de ah, varios, ah. siempre se puede ocupar. Siempre va a ser how many, porque la pregunta ah. es cuántos. Ya en la respuesta usted sí ya es opcional. Si solo menciona un estudiante, usted mm -hmm. puede decir one student practices o como es singular o solo uno, ya ponemos eh, okay, la S al verbo English. Pero si son dos, usted va a decir acá entonces mire two students a ah, dos estudiantes practice English. You see? Ahí depende de usted la cantidad si es singular o es solo uno. Si es plural, ya son varios. Entonces ahí se le agrega el plural al, o se le agrega ese a la palabra que vamos a colocar ahí. Pero entonces es la forma en cómo funcionan. Uno es para preguntar sobre cosas que no podemos contar y el otro es el how many es para preguntar sobre cosas que sí podemos sí, contar. Sí, pueden contar. Exacto. Ok. Ajá, es que esa confusión tenía si... Sí. Si digamos eh, how many lo podríamos ocupar independientemente fueran varias o, o una sí, cosa. Sí, sí, Ahí, como le repito, en la respuesta es que usted va a decir si es solo uno o son varios. Pero en la pregunta siempre tiene que ir, ¿ok? Eh, plural, por así decirlo. ¿Ok? O la, el nombre, en este caso, el nombre que vamos a colocar después de how many, siempre tiene que ir plural. Ah, y lo otro era con con need, need y needs. Ajá, need y needs. Ajá. Vaya, ese básicamente eh, íbamos acompañados de dos estructuras. Mire. Teníamos have to y a la misma vez acá teníamos need to o needs to. Ajá, esa parte era la que. Ahí era hasto. Ajá. Vaya, mire, esta parte acá es un tanto sencilla. Vaya, para have to, con el, lo del subject, podemos decir, I have to. You have to. He has to. Has ¿sí? to. Ajá. He has to. Y ahí el complemento va. We have to. They have to. Podemos poner acá Marcos en Mario have to. ¿Ok? Porque indican plural. Ahora bien, acá. I need to. Ok. Y el otro sería you, you need. You need to. Sin Siempre él. sería need. Yes. Sin la S. Exactly. ¿Dónde mm -hmm. vamos a colocar la S? Mire. He needs to. Mm -hmm. Por como ya es tercera persona, aquí es donde ocupamos la S. Ok. He needs to. ¿Sí ve? Right, acá puedo poner yo we need to y me voy a hacer con aquí me falta la S alright and in here they need to or right, the last one si acá mencionábamos a dos personas con have to and has to acá vamos a decir María needs To. ¿Sí ve? El needs to se utiliza cuando estamos hablando de una sola persona. Acordémonos mm -hmm. que la, al verbo se le agrega S cuando estamos hablando en tercera persona. Entonces, mm -hmm. yo puedo decir, si estamos hablando de una necesidad, right? If you're talking about a necessity, yo puedo decir así. Bueno, primera obligación, yo puedo decir, Julio has to go to work. Ah, Julio tiene que ir a trabajar. O 
Julio needs to go to work. You see? Una expresa obligación, la otra expresa necesidad. Uh -huh. Has to expresa obligación. Julio has to go to work. Julio tiene que ir a trabajar. Eso significa. And here. Julio needs yes, to go to necesita. work. Julio necesita ir a trabajar. Exacto. Uh -huh. Aquí estamos expresando necesidad. Vaya, en el caso en needs, que es necesita, yo pusiera, por ejemplo, María y Mario. Ah, y de, ahí, de ahí se le elimina la, la S. Como ya no estamos uh -huh. hablando de tercera persona, sino que de un plural. Por ejemplo, ya sería, uh, pongámosle, Katia en, let's say, Lucía, 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 need to cook, you see? Mm -hmm. María y Lucía need to cook. Ah, María y Lucía necesitan cocinar. You see, en ese caso, ya el, la S en el verbo need desaparece. Porque como ya hablamos de dos personas, ya es plural. All right? So, en este caso, ya mm -hmm. por eso mm -hmm. es que no podemos colocar la S. Acá abajo colocamos la S porque estamos hablando de una sola persona. ¿Ok? Por eso llevamos S. Si yo ahí llevara dos personas, entonces ya sería plural. Ya no puedo llevar la S en el verbo. Ajá. Ajá, es que eso era lo que, lo que, lo que me, me costaba un poco. Identificar directamente cuándo era la S y ajá. cuándo se le quitaba la S. Ajá, ajá. Okay. Pero ahorita sí ya lo tengo un poquito más. Más claro. <risa> más claro. Ay. Y con el to be me costaba, pero hoy se me, este, pues me quedó un poco más claro con el ejemplo que dio, un cuadrito que hizo usted. Ajá. Aquí la noté y sí ya se me aclaró un poco eso. Ah, perfecto, esa perfecto. Parte. Sí, recordemos que con el verbo to be son tres los, las palabras que usamos, que serían am, is y are. ¿Ok? Esas son am, okay. is y are. Y básicamente Ajá. esas son las que puse en el, en el pequeño recuadro ahí, eh, junto con los pronombres. Que I va con am, you, we, and they va con are, y he, she, it va con is. Uh -huh. right? Entonces esas son las, las formas que tenemos y para formar las oraciones que, con las cuales estuvimos trabajando este día. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Era como la... la, la parte era la mayor duda. Ah. Eh, bueno, claro. Ajá, sí, sí. Y es que creo que eh, para esa, ¿verdad que para esas actividades, bueno, para esas clases, usted fue la que faltó? Casi no le... Ya se oye robótico. Ah, caramba. Ya me está fallando. <ríe> <ríe> ok, no, no, no. Eh, es que esa falta, esa, esa clase creo que fue la que no pudo asistir, ¿verdad? La del viernes ya no... Y la del quiero ver el día que fui otra vez a, a este lado de, de Cojute. Creo que fue miércoles. Creo, ajá, fue un miércoles. Creo que sí, fue miércoles. Ajá. Sí, tiche. Es que cuando yeah. me toca ir allá, me toca ir en moto. Ah, no, es pues bien no, sí. Sí, es bien complicado, sí, sí. El viernes sí me vine de allá de, de San Vicente en moto. Uh. Entonces, <ríe> eh, be careful, man. Siempre ande con cuidado en eso. Sí, yo por eso. Yeah, yeah. No me consentí. No me consentí que sí, podía sí. venir en dos. No, 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 así ya no. Sí. Sí, y, y, y fue por lo que la última vez que me vine así, el, el viernes pasado, pero me vine temprano. Estaba una perra de la carretera, sentada. Ajá. Entonces, no sé, estaba tomado, estaba. Un poco de temor venirme así. Sí, no, sí, es peligroso, sí. Un poco peligroso, ya. Yeah. Try to be careful in that case. <risa> no, pero me alegra de que ya, pues, hayamos declarado las, las dudas que usted tenía. Con respecto sí, a teacher, eso. Esa, esas eran como las... Las, las principales. Más. Ajá. 
principales que me, me, me costaban un poco, me, tenía como mis dudas ahí. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Te uh -huh. agradezco mucho. That's perfect, no, me parece que estamos, ok, igual. Siempre en la clase, recordemos, si hay algo que, que no comprendamos, encendamos el micrófono y preguntemos, ¿ok? Ok, está bien, okay. teacher. Perfect, mister. Entonces, si no hay nada más que agregar, nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Solamente. Ma ok, cool. <risa> That's nice. So, let's see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Have a good night. Okay. Igual, teacher. Feliz okay. noche. Descansa. Bye, bye. Igualmente. Bye, bye.